I want to know what I'm missing. I want to know what's out there. I want to know what I can learn. Who I can, who I can be. I would love to be a mother with my son, and I also want to be able to accomplish something of my own. You got a gazillion of them. I know. You, you just got the one photo of them? That's your son? Yeah. I've got all kinds. Ones when he was like two, and then three, and four, and McDonald's camera ones, and you know, where he is my baby, you know? I don't really speak much about my mom or anything. I met her again when I was five, and I actually asked her who she, like, I asked my auntie, like, auntie, who is this? And I remember that my mom broke down into tears, and it was, it was pretty sad. I kind of felt bad, and then she said, I'm your mom, and hugged me and cried. And I guess she, I don't know what happened, but I didn't see her for a while. After that, I started going to her house, and hanging out with her all night, staying up all night, watching movies and whatnot. After going there every weekend for a bit, it slowed down and I was going there every two weekends and then all of a sudden it's just like, where's my mom? And then out of nowhere I'd see this car in my driveway and just know it was Danny D's and run home and see my mom and she'd have like presents or whatever. Sorry for not being around. First Christmas I spent with my mom, I lost my two front teeth and I remember that. She spoiled me rotten, seriously. Spoiled me rotten. She just loved me dearly. I know that for sure. I'll never forget that. I remember we were watching movies one time and I went to go skate across the bed and I palmed a needle, a syringe, into my palm and I was just kind of blown away. I started crying or something. I don't even know. It was a while ago. but And then I went from there to seeing her actually cook it all up and then go into the bathroom and then I wouldn't see her for like four hours and I'd be in her apartment by myself wondering, you know, like what's going on? Like just watching TV, like mom, wake up. I'm affected by it. I'm still here and my mom's not. I'm, I'm living with actually my mom's family right and left. I don't know my dad. I don't know how I got here, but I surely wasn't planned. My mom was like, like, like you said before, 14, 15, somewhere around there, when I was born. So yeah, it's, I think it affects more than one person for sure. It affects everybody who surrounds you and cares about you. I'm not a spiritual kind of guy, but I'd like to believe that my mom has her eye on me. I don't know, I'd like to believe that.